Master, um, you mentioned sometimes that there are either trees or manifested beings who help or tell you information. And uh, how about uh, those type of beings? How, do, how does the information come to you? Is it similar as to how the protection angel gives you information? Yeah. Yes, you just will know it, you know, like you smell the smoke from a burning oven, yeah? You just know it. And and those beings which are maybe on the earth level, like the, the tree spirit, it, do they also yeah, give depends. you the message well in advance, if they can? Yeah, yes. it depends, it depends. But sometimes if I'm so high, they can't reach me. Uh. And when I come back to earth, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What to do, I tell you, yeah? Master, when these manifested beings appear, how are you able to recognize that they're gods or goddesses? Uh, if I notice, if I notice something unusual, then I look through their soul. <laughs> uh. Otherwise, they camouflage, as you don't see it. If you don't notice, you don't look well, you don't know, they're just like everyone else. Have you ever seen a pigeon with shocking pink color? Shocking, no. <laughs> no, okay. Have you ever seen a pigeon with like a uh, glowing green color? No, never, Master. No. Have you ever seen a pigeon with uh, like glowing electric bulb uh, kind of blue color, for example, <laughs> or no. yellow color? No. no. Yes. No. Brighter than the macaws? <laughs> blue? No. Okay. No. These sometimes, uh, like recently, the four level god, they come just to congratulate me, to tell me, Oh, you will discover new things, new ways to help the world. They they manifest themselves in a whole group of pigeons with this rainbow color. It is really oh amazing. It's not only I see. I have witnessed. I have two attendants at this time, wow. and I was just yeah. And we were we just so amazed. I never saw this. I even wrote it in my my diary. Like <laughs> today they came. And, we have never seen such vision in my whole life anywhere else on earth. So beautiful, my God. So bright, so bright and so beautiful. And they just come and make a lot of happy noise on the trees next to me. And I didn't, I didn't even see where they come from. Suddenly they were there. And then afterwards, suddenly they were gone. Anyway, there were two attendants at that time. And I say, you have you seen such vision before? They say, no, never <laughs> in our life. We are just standing there and looking. And of course, I go inside and bring something for them to eat, yeah? I forgot to bring water, but uh, never mind. Uh, later, I apologize, but then they're gone already. I was just uh, making some tea and some cakes to treat the two attendants at that time because I was just having somebody help us to do things, and then I make cakes for them. And then the workers, you know, sometimes the laborers. I, I treated them with my own personal base cakes. And then some leftover, I make some tea and invite the two assistants. And we were just there, and then they just come like that from nowhere. <laughs> so bright, so brilliant colors. Red, like scarlet red, and shocking wow. thing, but not hurting, not ugly. Shocking, but so beautiful, glowing. Oh. And, and blue and green. First I thought it was my cause, but... I even haven't seen any macaws with such a pink color and red color like that. <laughs> and blue color and green color and yellow color. <laughs> Season with yellow color. I mean bright yellow color, like rainbow, a ray of rainbow color. Wow, whole rainbow. Yeah, and then I look, oh, and then my assistant asked me, but we have never seen them. And I said, oh, oh no, they, they're from, from the fourth level. They're not the normal pigeon, that's why. <laughs> And then suddenly they just disappear. Also, nobody saw them, how they gone. But they went down and eat the food I gave. And then they disappeared just like that. Wow. We didn't see them gone. We didn't see them come, we didn't see them gone. Oh, that makes me happy for many days, I tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> for example. Master, is it usually that obvious, that they make it that obvious to you? It was such an obvious time like that. Mostly they appear less obvious, less colorful like that, or or just in human form, like a normal person, acting stupid and all that, <laughs> 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 to fool you. But that was really extraordinary vision. Oh my God, uh, a whole group, dozens of them, and making happy noise, singing, jumping around, and showing off, and flying, circling around me, circling around on top for well, many times, yeah.
when I come out, they fly up to me and circling around, showing off their color. <laughs> That's beautiful, Master. Very beautiful. Oh, that was really beautiful, I'm telling you. Purple and pink and red and <laughs> yellow, blue and nothing gray, huh? nothing, nothing <laughs> just like pigeon at all. <laughs> and they even grew like pigeon. Oh, 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 but they're not pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I had camera, but maybe if I had camera, maybe I could not even photograph them. Maybe it, it doesn't appear. Oh. We would just uh, a sound and just standing there and don't even think of anything. All three of us <laughs> just standing there watching because it's so beautiful, so mesmerizing, you know, so mesmerizing. Wow. So beautiful, yeah. Of course, I've seen some of a uh, similar thing in my vision, but these are really physical. <laughs> <laughs> physical manifestation of heaven. Oh, so beautiful. I'm still happy now when I talk to you about it. <laughs> oh, we, we wish we could have seen it too, Master. Yeah, you would have been so happy for days. I have two witnesses, not just me. So, well, know? we believe you, Master. We believe you. Yeah, yeah. And then I asked them, have you seen them gone? They said, no, we didn't see it either. We haven't seen how they gone. <laughs> <laughs> Master, when higher level beings appear on earth to help, uh, how does it work? Do they need to appear in a way that makes sense to other people in the surroundings? Or do they just materialize out of thin air and then just disappear? No, mostly they appear like ordinary person or ordinary uh, animals so that you have no suspicion, Okay. Yes, Master. Otherwise, people will run away. You know, suddenly see a person appearing to you, or they faint, or they collapse, or they run away, or they call him ghosts, or evil, or, or, or maybe shoot them. Uh, you never yes, know. Yes. Human, yeah. Scared of everything unknown. So they appear just like ordinary people, sit next to you, maybe you tell them their problem, or they suddenly tell you some answer to your problem, and you don't even know, and then after the next bus stop, they just go out and walk away. Oh, wow. Or in the supermarket, they just walk away and then you think, oh, yeah, that's a good idea, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then you didn't even know they are angels or gods and goddesses to help you. And so do they materialize right then and there or do they maybe materialize a little somewhere where no one can see them and then come and visit yeah, the person mostly, they're visiting? Mostly they're hidden when they materialize and then they just walk out when, in the daylight and... Hmm? It's very easy to materialize in hidden places, in the toilet, in, you know, in, uh, behind the walls, in the bush, anywhere. Wow. Yeah. It's like somewhere, somewhere secret. Yeah, or when you turn your back away and they just you know, do it behind you, walking towards you then, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Or at the curb, at the corner, yeah. Uh, Master, a related question is, how are, are these gods able to appear so much like us, like us humans? Do they... Uh, borrow the appearance and identity of an existing person or do they invent their own appearance? They can do both of that. can do both of that. It depends on the situation, yeah? Or they can manifest as animals to lead you when you are lost or, or comfort you and giving you bright ideas through telepathy. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. they don't even need to talk to you or as, or as a human. They can manifest as birds or a cricket or even a fly. <laughs> Yeah, butterfly just, you know, like landing on you or sit next to you and then you suddenly have some idea for your problem, hmm? for your problem. Oh, wow. I'll give you blessings so that you feel more encouraged, more healthy, or you recover from sickness, anything. And they can come from any level? Yeah, there are thousands of them every day in our life in, on Earth to wow. help people. We just don't know and not grateful to them, but... Without them, we'll be in more mess. 